next video, we will be reacting to Magno featuring Flo G. We made it. Now, before we get into the reaction, as you know me, man, this right here is my first time listening to Nick Magno. I'm not very familiar with his style or his affiliation, where he come from, what he represents. I know very little about this artist, so please, 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 please help me get to know the artist by putting all the unnecessary information in the comment section. And don't roast me if I say stuff that is very ignorant. Again, I'm very, very stupid about things um, that's regarding Nick Machino and his music. So please, man, help me out. And what are you all waiting for? Let's go. React on that one. We made it. Number one trended right now for music. Nice. I love the beat of this one. This boy got a hit. Nick Magano probably has, you know, 
been been doing putting out amazing songs and classics and albums you know in the past but to to people like me I appreciate it because it's a lot easier to recognize him you know for who he is for the talent that he is so man this i mean i just do not know though who is the originator of this style you know because this is very u.s you know what i'm saying uh very uh uh atlanta you know what i'm saying very migos the the style the vibe and all that but of course there's an originator of that style here in the philippines so i do not know who that is and please let me know who is the face who is the face of this style in the rap scene here in the philippines right now like who is the most popular that uh art most popular artist that is using this style here in the philippines i would want to know man props to nick Ma. i know did you notice man he changes the the flow three different times i, I like the the second one it's very reminiscent of um early early lil wayne and early drake kind of style young lumilit young bosses man that's very nostalgic especially for me i also appreciate that he did the the chorus in this one though you know what i'm saying because again this is what i've been saying over and over if you're gonna uh have flow g on your song it would be best if you can do the chorus why or you could do the hook why because that then saves you in the 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 remembering factor you know what i'm saying you know, impact more, especially if your band game is not as good, you know, you know that you're still developing, you know, I mean, Floji has this, this Eminem kind of thing in him in which every time he gets into a song, he takes over, you know, it's like he literally eat up, whoever it is that he's uh, featuring with or he is featured with, he makes it seem as if it is his song. That's the competitive nature of Flo G, man. There's very few songs out there that you have Flo G that you could say this person levels with Flo G or this hindi nilamo ng buo ni Flo G yung, yung artist na kasama niya. Very, very few songs out there. So uh, to me, I, 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 have, I have said this many times that the, the safest way to go with that is do the hook para hindi man ganong kalakas, hindi man mapantayan you know, the pen game or the verse, mo yung verse niya. At least you have this impact, remembering factor. Mas ma na alala ka pa rin ng mga tao. Hindi ka lamon na lamon. You're not gonna be left out because you are doing the hook. But in this case, I would say that Nick Magnus' uh, 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 verse is tight. It's really good. Now let's go on Floji's um, lines and verse in this one. Man, Floji's lines was written beautifully. You know what I'm saying? How do I say that? Because you can see the maturity of his pen game from how he used to rap and where he is now. His rap game now and where he was, man, it's night and day. It's completely different. It, I mean, it was not how, you know, that it was not how typical rappers write their verse on this type of song. Kasi, di ba, ano to yung motivational na, na banger, di ba? Uso-uso yung ganitong type ng song. Especially these days, almost everybody's doing the same theme no? ng song. Yung motivational, this is where we from, and this is where, yung ganon, right? Now, now, the way uh, Flo G wrote his verse on this one is not how typical rappers would do it right how would a typical rapper would do it you know what are you saying what's the difference the difference is that normally when a rapper gets into a beat like this man the beat is so freaking fire whoever did the beat man props to you amazing the beat is uh, very i um, so fire and the theme is amazing how a typical rapper would or artist let me correct myself. How would the typical artist approach this? Is what it would be flexing overload, right? Look at my chains. Look at my teeth. Like look at my whip. Look at my girl. Look at my house. Look at my cash. Look at my ink and all that. Everything revolves around that because I mean it's merited. Why? Because the 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 theme of the song talks about that, but. If you look back and listen back, you would see that Flo G approaches 
very differently. It's very mature. He approached this as not a typical rapper, but an artist. You know what I'm saying? You can see and hear and feel the storytelling in his verse, in his line. Not flexing overload, right? And this kind of song, put it with just, you know, another artist, which is not as good as a flow, man, you, you, the, those things are the only thing they're here. This is the woman that I'm, I'm dating with. This is the women's around me. Look at the, this is the cash that I'm spending, the car, the whip, and all that. My, my, my designers, the chains, the ink, and all that. Oh, that that's very hip hop, right? But you can still approach it in a very mature artist way. And that is the route in which Floji absolutely acknowledge and we have to give him props to you know what I'm saying because he could have done that that's the easy way out that's the easy route but he didn't do that so we have to give him flowers for that man that's a mature way because man the storytelling the way he attacked his verse it was it was a storytelling time you know what I'm saying he just told us in that what a minute like how many bars was that how long was that verse in that Fun of time, man. He was able to meticulously and beautifully tell us his story, how he started, how it is going right now, and here's the bonus, which is a banger. He was even able to squeeze in and put in a Thanksgiving message to all the fans, you and me, for putting him where he is right now. Imagine. And still, that approach fits, right? That's what I'm saying. That's why this is, I mean, his verse is beautifully curated and made for this type of song because there are very few people who could have done that or could have thought of that. Is there, like, a song out there that was able to, like, okay, in this kind of song category, huh? This type of song had a banger with, like, we made it. The titles have says it all. But Floji approaches dif- uh Floji approaches differently, putting like this is my story, this is how it is, you know, right now, what's happening, what's going on in my life. But guess what? I'm gonna have to give the flowers back to you people because if not of you fans, people who's listening, people that are supporting, people that are subscribed, people are putting the words out there of of his talent, of his of his masterpiece, of his song. He would have not been where he is, and he did not forget that. He could have just portrayed himself just like everybody else. Anion, I made it here because I'm good. Forgetting that it is the people that brought them where they are. Man, you could be the most talented guy out there, but if the people don't like your music, guess what? You you will remain where you are you'll be stuck where you are why because at the end of the day it is the people who brings you where you are and flo g did the right thing in here man if 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 you if you just listen to it man it's amazing it's amazing how how he, he was able to, to come up with it and i would say this is what separates him from all the other artists right now him skasta and my man yuri do no. Man, these people, I think we have to give the flowers for for not the typical reasons. You know, I mean, we 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 are giving them flowers, we are applauding them, and we are giving them props for the obvious reasons. Casa is so good at singing, Flo G is so good at his multis. Um, my my man, my boy Yuri is so good at you know his pen game. But there are other stuff out there, layers beneath that also is impactful and makes. The entirety of the game that they're bringing makes them great. So I think it's time for us to appreciate those layers, those little things, those stuff that they squeeze in, the genius behind what is in front of us. You know, to truly appreciate, man, the masterpiece, the artist that they are. Amazing, amazing. You can see the 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 influence of the GOAT in this just in this line of flow G. I could really hear, honestly, earlier, I could hear Glock 9, Looney for the multi, you know what I'm saying? And all the, all, man, right? 
that that kind of storytelling is very, very reminiscent of Glock 9, which is not a knock on Flo G because he learned from the great, like Kobe Bryant. He learned from Michael Jordan. He took what Jordan did best and put his own spin and improved on that, right? That that storytelling style is very Glock 9. And the multi is very Luna. And you cannot hate on him or you cannot hate on me because Flo G is a student of the game. He takes what what's best from other artists, and put it, you know, uh, I mean, make sure that it becomes a part of his own arsenal and put his own spin, put his own identity to it, makes his, his stuff grow, evolve, makes his pen game, his artistry evolves to to a level and to, to a layer that we have never seen before. This is a very mature flow G. The pen game is so different from his pen game before, man. It's night and day, man. This is what makes him top tier among the best artists of the Philippines right now. Man, I also would want to give a prop to, to whoever did the, the music video. It's very, I mean, very new, very fresh. It's very U.S., you know what I'm saying? And it's not a bad thing. Why? Because, you, you know, you know the quality that the U, U.S. people produce, right? Especially in music. And to see that the music video on this one is definitely comparable, it gives me a a, a Migos really kind of vibe. I forgot what song was that, Migos. Motorsport. Motorsport. The same vibe. Just the music video. It gives me that motorsport song kind of vibe from Migos on the music video. I'm not saying it's the same, all right? I'm not saying it's the same. What I'm saying is the vibe, you know? Wow, man, this is truly amazing. Shout out to Nick Machino, man. He is really an uh, amazing talent. I would want to hear more of him. I would want to uh, understand, like, what he's really good at. Is this really his uh, type of song? Because if this one, man, this is a banger, I would. I am very much looking forward to hear this uh, on, on the Wish Bus. You know what I'm saying? That's number one trending right now. I enjoy this, man. I hope that you do the same. Thank you so much for tuning in. Subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. I hope you enjoyed this. I love you all. Peace out. Mwah.